All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to be going over an email from a subscriber, and pretty much he wanted to know if it's okay because he's about to turn 30 years old this year, and he says that he's never been on a single date relationship, and no surprise there, he's never had sex before. So he wants to know, is it okay for him to be single and a virgin? He tells me, you know, it's a quick email situation story. and wants to know my opinion on it. So starts off saying, he says, hi, I'm one of your newest subs and I really enjoy your content so far. Thank you. I'm almost the age of 30 and I've never had a relationship, let alone been on a date. I've gotten a lot of emails recently from a lot of guys in their 20s that have been telling me situations that they're in their 20s. They've never, they've either, they've never been on dates or had relationships before and certainly not had sex or they been on relationships and dates and hasn't really gone anywhere and yet they still haven't had sex. There's a lot of these coming up here. It's interesting. He says, I've recently accepted my fate to die alone considering all the evil women out there on this planet. Well, dude, let me make something clear right now. Not all women are evil, okay? Some are. If you're going to put an all on something, I would say pretty much all women can be a giant pain in the ass, but I wouldn't say all evil, okay? And as for you saying your fate to die alone, uh-uh-uh. No, 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 no. We all make our own destiny here, okay? We're all masters of our own destiny. Remember in the first couple Terminator movies when that, that line, no fate but what you make? It really is true, okay? If you want to have a good life, you got to take action to make that life happen. It's not going to just show up on your doorstep. Okay, and I want you guys all, like I've said before countless times, I want you guys doing things to improve your lives so you can enjoy all the really fine things and whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to have, you can make it happen. I want you to have these things, okay? But it's not going to just be thrown in your lap. You got to work your butt off and take risks and sometimes fail to make these things happen. But there's no fate here, guys. And for this guy here, you know, saying that fate to die alone, that, I mean, if you want to be alone, if you want to be by yourself your whole life, you know, no relationships, have your dog, have your money, enjoy yourself, okay, that, that's what you want, that's fine. But I don't want to hear about this fate stuff. You can make anything happen for yourself. You just have to work hard at it and educate yourself and learn as much as you can from anybody that has knowledge that you don't. He goes on to say, however, it would be nice to have sex at least once so I know what it's like. My question is, is it also a good thing, and he has this in quotes, to have never had sex at all? Please answer when you can and keep up the good work, Bill. So, here's the deal. Everybody's different, all right? But the thing is this, I want you to do what makes you happy. So, if it truly makes you happy to spend the rest of your life as a virgin and uh, do what you want... In, in life, enjoy yourself, be by yourself, just maybe you and the dog or you and the cats, hanging out with your friends and just pursuing your interests. Okay, cool. That's your business. It's nobody else's business but your own. It's not your family's. It's not your friends. Nobody. It's your business. On the other hand, and this, I'm saying this to the guy who wrote this email as well as anybody else in this situation, if you want to hook up with 300 women and that makes you happy, then by all means, go hook up with 300 women. It's going to cost you a bunch of money, and you're going to deal with a lot of drama and BS on the way, but you're going to have a hell of a lot of fun with those 300. On the other hand, to the guy who wants to, if he's going to be single his whole life, no women, nothing, he's going to save himself a lot of money and a lot of drama and BS. So you weigh it out, whatever you want. But the thing is this, and my gut tells me by reading this email here, I don't think this guy wants to be alone. I don't think he wants to miss out on some of these things. My gut tells me that he has it in his head that basically he can't have anything, you know? And that's why I said in the beginning that I don't buy this fate nonsense, okay? All you guys, like I said before, can improve your lives. You can all have whatever you want. Does it mean it's going to be easy and there's going to be no roadblocks in the way? No. Anything worth doing is a challenge. And believe me, it's not always going to go down exactly as you want it to go. It's not going to be as easy and as smooth as you envision it. I mean, anything I've done in life that I wanted to achieve has never gone the way I thought it would. 
when I started different businesses and I had ideas of like, okay, I want to do this much in sales by a certain period of time and make this much profit by this much time and get to different levels of, of uh, where I am. It took time. It took a lot longer than I expected. I had things that popped up out of nowhere. You know, as the saying is, shit happens and it does. So for any of you guys that want to, you know, achieve different things in your life, make things better, you can do this, but it's not going to be a smooth journey along the way. You're going to have setbacks, you're going to have roadblocks, and you got to be tough enough and driven enough to pursue it and make it happen. And you can make these things happen. It just takes time. You know, I mean, I've heard a lot of successful people say that, you know, I, heard, I think it was Bill Gates. I could be wrong about this, that people, they overestimate what they can accomplish in one year, but they underestimate what they ac could accomplish in 10 years. I think that's what Bill Gates said. And that's dead on. A lot of people, they have all these high hopes in the beginning and then expect it in a short period of time. And they don't get there and often they quit. But they really underestimate what can happen if you're really putting yourself, putting the, in the time, putting in the work, what you can accomplish over a longer period of time. And to be successful and really good at anything does take time, guys. So for this guy here, and again, I just, my gut is telling me that he obviously wants more than to simply have maybe have sex once and no relationships, nothing. I think he wants more, but just is feeling like it's hopeless or whatever happens to be. He can, you got, I'm talking to you right here. You're listening. You can have more. You can make it happen. You just got to try and put yourself out there. But do I think that you should, um, let me just go through this one more time here. Do I think that you should do it? Yes, I think you do. And he asked me, do I think it's a good thing to have never had sex at all? That is your own private business. I'm sure there could be guys on here that are watching that are religious, and their religious faith and teachings tells them basically no sex before marriage or something like that. And if that is what you or someone listening to this wants to do, that, that's what makes you happy, fine. But I'm, I'm in the mindset of doing what makes me happy, okay? And as for the... You know, but for me, what makes me happy is to spend my life doing what I want, when I want, having a good time, and so forth. And with regards to the sex department, have as much of it as possible. But again, that's me. So it may not be you, may not be everybody watching this video, but that's just me personally. I'm doing what makes me happy and enjoying it every step of the way. And do I got to deal with some drama and BS? Absolutely. Does it cost more money? Absolutely, but we're all different here. So, so to this guy, I would say, you know, self improvement, better yourself, and so forth. If you got to take some hits along the way, meaning you got to start dating women and learning the hard way about certain things so you can get what you want, obviously, then go for it. But it'll be worth it. But just be aware you're going to do a lot of drama and BS on the way. But yes, I think it's healthy, and you should definitely, at the very least, have sex once in your life. The odds are by the time you have it once, you're going to want to have it more and more. So, all right. Hope that answers the question. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let the guy know what you think about this. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of different answers here. Everybody's different. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time.